Alright, so it doesn't look like I have the information. I actually thought about doing this, but I didn't do it. So, apparently we need to present Regina's profile to him. Talking about, you know, that he seems to have that grudge, you know. Regina. She's cool, isn't she? And can you believe such a cute girl is an animal tamer? <laughs> the, the birds are gone. It seems animals are not the only thing she tames. Huh? Max, the ringmaster, Ben. She's got them all under her thumb. What do you mean by that? Hmm. Maybe I went a bit overboard. It's just Regina's innocence. She was incredibly sheltered as a child. I'd say it seems that way. That's why she can be so cruel. What? Regina is just like the animals she claims to tame. She's innocent, thus she can be cruel. I wonder what happened between Acro and Regina. Alright, so now we can get out of here. We don't have enough information for him yet. And we can move on to the big top. I'm kind of annoyed that it took that conversation to finally trigger this happening. Grrr. I've got a bad feeling about this. Grrr. <laughs> yeah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be filet o phoenix Stay, stay, heal! Yeah, and Regina just, like, didn't show up until we had that... Until we had a conversation about her? Kind of weird. Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. I'm sorry, I guess I made a mistake. A mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? It's a pity about what happened to the Ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like maybe she's the murderer because she's just so uncaring. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will, I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Money the monkey. Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful, you should see it. We should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. I guess all the answers are yes. Leave it all up to us. Guess there's no turning down that request. Yay, you're really gonna do it? 
Alright, and I need to present this note. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket? Hmm, I guess I noticed it was around there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Akro his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I'd go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realized the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did. I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Hmm. So it was Regina who put it up there. If she's to be believed, because that's kind of a weird story. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. I do find it interesting that, you know, out of the potential list of suspects that we're all talking to, we'll just take, like, stuff that people say and presume it to be fact. I mean, I guess to some degree you have to, or at least you have to, you have to take everyone's, you know, information with a grain of salt, you know, understanding that you still should know it, but that it could be, you know, fake. Potentially. We just always seem to, like, keep it, you know, as, like, perfect evidence. Anyway, I think you should probably go back to Agro's room. I hate all this moving around you have to do. Anything over here? Ew! It's a huge pile of trash! Um... Anything close? Hey! It's a picture of Regina! Well, she is a shining beauty! No objections here. Oh, that didn't help much. Hmm... Okay. Once again, gotta look it up. Uh, let's see... We did that. Presented the note, and we need to go to Moe's room for some reason? Alright, that's a little weird. Some of this stuff, like, this is what I don't necessarily like about the game, and I've seen it, you know, written up before, where it's like... Why did... Why does this line of reasoning exist, you know? Going back to the... The, um... The first one where it was like, oh... The guy died... And the message he wrote was, like, written wrong. And the answer is that, oh, he wrote it with his wrong hand and not, you know, I don't know. It's just that some of the logic in this game sometimes feels like they came up with a solution before they figured out how to explain how you would get to that solution, you know? Possibly some translating errors, too. Anyway. Let's go to Moe's room. I don't know, yeah, I just don't know why I would know to go here. Other than randomly checking everywhere I could possibly go, which I think is not a good solution, in my opinion. It's just frustrating. Especially considering I can't just pick a location I have to, like, walk to the location by selecting all these other connected locations. Hmm. Moe's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. Nick, it's money! That monkey's holding something. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? All right, time to take on this monkey. Attorney style. Do I act like monkey? Tell him to stay. Or give it back, monkey brain. <laughs> oh, the first and last options are very tempting. I think I will pretend to be a monkey. 
I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You could see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean. I really want to try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you into the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Hmm. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Alright, so we'll present that to Regina, presumably. Here you go, Regina. Yay, thank you. You really got it back for me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Oh, it's nothing. No wonder guys melt too much in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? It isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Ah, right. So the murderer is referring to someone killed the lion, probably. Can we talk about that? Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed it. Ooh. So yeah, the note was to her dad then. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down and then he opened his mouth, you know? Gah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways, what was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon did killed me and now I'm a body double. Leon bit someone during that practice. Regina, everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't all right. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Six months ago, yep. I think we know what happened then. I don't want to go all the way to Acker's room unless we have to. Let's see. Oh, dang it. Scrolled all the way back up. Hold on. Let's see. Um, stage costume, Regina. Okay, I gotta go to the cafeteria. Then I'll go to Acro's room about after that. That's just like the most annoying thing to me is having to walk all the way to the other side to present one piece of evidence and walk all the way back. It's just tedious, you know? All this clicking over and over again. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Bistro du Cir Cir Cirque. I think. AKA the cafeteria. Hmm, it smells so good in here. And those burgers look great. 
she's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted bun, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet I can tell by the smell. Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. These burgers must have some kind of special power. Now that the ringmaster's gone, what are you going to do? That's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Doctor's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger. He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Akra was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the Ringmaster shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo? All that's left is to see if anyone could get over the tragedy. You know... The tragedy, you know? What's he talking about? Get over it? Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. He must mean the tragic death of the Ringmaster, right? That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yes, yes, that's it. You're right, girly. Dang, dang, dang. Correcto mundo. Doesn't he mean ding? Mo, I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Uh, no, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone can get over the tragedy it seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Oh, no, not another one. So now we're getting closer to the truth. I was about... It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big... Mm, I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? Alright, I think we can press on that one. Let's go ahead. And present... The Magatama. Get over it? Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at the circus? Okay, okay. There's no need to look so scary when you look at me, when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh, actually, kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you... I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting your head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo, Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite in the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about Mo. Is this the person you promised you wouldn't say anything? It's Acro. Take that! It must have been Acro, right? Uh, how would you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. 
Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. No, no way. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. That was an easy one. Get over it. It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? I mean, Leon died. No, but it probably would have been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. Is it- wait, no, is it Ben? Because he's an idiot? He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. Oh! Oh, Akro's gone to visit him at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Akro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Akro's brother. Was his name Bat? Brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers. Akro and Bat! <laughs> oh no. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyway, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Um, who is Akro's younger brother? Seen Dingling, but everyone always called him Bat. Or Sean, not Seen. He fell in love with Regina. Trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, Let me perform at Leon. Why did he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. Ah! I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! A smirking lion. A flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? Um... We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka, 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, chew, ah, chew. Nice, what a wonderful sneeze. Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel. That's place, uh, basic clownmanship. Girly, I know you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneeze. Heh, <laughs> heh, does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does. That would always tease her with pepper. God. From my point of view, those two always look so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? Alright, I think we're done here finally. So, let's finally go back to Akra's room. Ah, uh, Mr. Wright! Back again, I see. Well, he did say, I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? 
We're back because after his hiding while his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know... Well, well. Seems you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away! I think we've got everything. I'm gonna try it. Goodbye, birds. About the wheelchair. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes. Fortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Maybe? Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. I know that I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked? By a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as... Battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Take that! Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just the slip of the tongue in his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue? Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Cut down together. That was where he slipped and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acker's last psyche lock. This must be the one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like very much is the reason you're being evasive. Regina, you always seem calm and collected, until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Reg a regent tried to attack you? Twice. Ha ha ha. He wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina is incapable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Duh, maybe I overdid it again. If I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof you had it out for Regina all along. The note. Take that! This... Where did you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Akira's breakfast. You wrote this and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright.
All right, I think I did okay with that one. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother Bat had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane. Didn't he know how dangerous that is? Alternatively, you could say, hey, do you want to go on a date with me? We all thought he was being stupid too. But that lion was very old to begin with. And AIDS brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. He just wanted to take her out to the movies. But now he'll never be taking anybody out. Poor Bat. When Leon chopped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Bat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross. It's covered in blood. This scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. Oh. When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know, most said the same thing. What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Miss Von Karma? I've already heard everything. Oh, mm, that was bad. So hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summons to Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro, we'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. To be continued! Alright, good work. So anyway, that'll be our cutoff point for today. I wonder if we're ever going to actually see Bat. I can't, I can't believe his name, or his nickname anyway, is Bat. I mean, like, I, that's the thing this game would do, but I still can't believe that they did it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Ace Attorney Justice for All. Bye!